Good evening, it's Facebook love number 259. These days, it's like once a week, um, I saw a couple titles that made me remember a few pieces from a book that I like. Um, it's a collection of poems called Here, uh, Poems for the Planet. And so I pulled out some that I really like for this evening on a hot, hot early summer day. Uh, I'm going to put my glasses on because it's a tiny font. So here we go. Facebook love. This first piece is by Annie Boutel called The Rapture of the Bees. Suddenly absent, vamoosed, as if they'd never been, never spiraled in the air nor clung to each other through frozen dark, nor filled the hive with their million lithe bodies, packed shelves of wax and gold, and all that honeyed buzz. Like a child in a bed of Portugal, just not there, only space in her stead, or hair in coils on the barber's floor, the neck abandoned and chill, or the breast with the other discarded body parts somewhere in a hospital basement and only the stitches to show where it was. How not to envy the bees? So fierce an uprush, it can't be resisted that soaring in air to meet whoever is coming. The cell phone tower bristling with urgent messages about the time, the place, and the false Plastic branches are arms that sweep them in, not one left, and death is simple, just being where the others are, a trembling vibration, the rapture of bees. One thing I like about how much uh, more calm the pace of our public life has gotten um, in the last 135 days or so, is um, the reemergence of serious thought about the things that are changing and the things that need more attention, such as climate change, um, which has always been one of my biggest, biggest concerns. Um, this collection of poems is all about those things, activism and the world and its precious and limited beauty. Uh, the second piece is by Mary Rufle. I'm not sure how to say her name. R-U-E-F-L-E. -E. Kiss of the Sun. If, as they say, poetry is a sign of something among people, then let this be prearranged now between us while we are still peoples that at the end of time, which is also the end of poetry and wheat and evil and insects and love, when the entire human race gathers in the flesh, reconstituted down to the infant's tiniest fold and littlest nail, I will be standing at the edge of that fathomless crowd with an orange for you, reconstituted down to its innermost seed protected by white thread, in case you are thirsty, which does not at this time seem like such a wild guess. And though there will be no poetry between us then, at the end of time, the geese all gone with the seas, I hope you will take it. And remember on earth I did not know how to touch it, it was all so raw. And if by chance there is no edge to the crowd or anything else so that I am of it, I will take the orange and toss it as high as I can. Kiss of the Sun by Mary Rufa. And I have one more for, me, for you. Um, this is a part of a longer piece called The Voices by Richard Jackson. This section is titled, The Gift. 
This plastic cup with the broken handle, green enough to almost disappear in the grass by the roadside, has come all the way from its origins in oil, and so it may be the last gesture of some dinosaur or hold the last breath of an ancient fern. About the size of a fist, it may have been tossed out a window, probably from a muscle car, perhaps thrown in disgust at what was said on the radio news, or held some bourbon before the driver spotted the police cruiser behind him. Had he lost his job? Had his wife left him for his best friend? It hasn't been here long. The crows are busy with what's been pasted to the road, greasy wrappers, newspaper, even a used diaper, tell their own stories. The cup's probably made in China, probably by some worker not paid enough to buy it. Certainly the boys on the county cleanup detail would have bagged it had they passed this way. If I leave it, perhaps a mouse or an insect will make a home. We all need a home. Just into the tree line of the homeless tent village stays out of sight. Someone there could use it, maybe the one who will thumb his way to Georgia for the onion harvest. Or I could simply take it home to use as a planter, to hold the miniature flowerless cactus my wife had left for me. The Gift by Richard Jackson. Three things to think about. Thinking about climate change as our as our weather is more unpredictable, as the dries are drier and the wets are wetter and the fires are bigger and hotter and the seas rise and become more alkaline. And we need to make some changes. This is Facebook Love, and I'll see you again.